thanks for watching the replay. Thanks for clicking on this video. Really glad you guys are here and watching it. If you're watching live with me, please let me know that you're here. Say hello and tell me where you're watching from. So we're going to do a quick little lunch and live. Um, it is lunchtime. It's about 1230 here on the East Coast. So um, I figured, you know what? Let's hop on. Let's do a quick little live. And we are going to make our mermaid. Look at how cute this is, you guys. Oh, sorry for the glare. This is from the new spring summer catalog. I have been dying to do this. Um, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it live. Hey, Becca. Hey, Katie. So um, again, if you guys are joining live, please say hi. Tell me where you're joining from. I know you gals are in Texas, and I know it's much warmer there than it is here. I don't know if you can tell how much glare is coming from outside because we have like six inches of snow on the ground right now. So I am going to remove what's already on this board. This is that I just want to chop pretty things. And if you didn't see the video for that, I think that's on my Upright and Caffeinated page. If not, I can share the video over to here. Um, I did a video where I did that, and it's one of those real quick, like, one-minute videos. <laughs> so um, I did that a couple weeks ago, and I'm going to wipe it off because I'm ready to do something else. This is what I love about Chalk Couture, you guys. This is what I love about it. I change my mind so often with decor. Um, I don't know if you guys do as well. Um, I love something for like a hot second and then I'm over it. So um, this is this is why I love this stuff. So I'm going to take this off and I am using um, a magic eraser. Now Trot Couture makes a board eraser. I have some of those on their way to me. I have not tried them out yet. Um, my magic erasers work really great and I get them really cheap at Costco. So that's what I'm using here. I started out with a paper towel. It took most of it off, but I'm going to switch to the magic eraser. And I just have a little, um, little container with just water right here. That's all you need to wipe this off. Just a little paper towel and some water or a magic eraser or one of the chalk tour board erasers. You don't need special products. You don't need special tools. You don't need uh, any kind of like, Spray or toxic cleaning product, nothing like that. There we go, that's cleaned. I'm gonna do one more wipe with the magic eraser just to make sure I got all the color off of this chalkboard. And then we're gonna take a baby wipe, wipe it one last time, and then I'll dry it off and we're ready to go. And we're gonna do this mermaid. So exciting. So I got this mermaid out of the catalog because I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. But you guys, I have all boys, um, so I have no reason to have mermaid decor in my house. Um, so I really got it because I'm gonna I'm gonna make my my neighbor's daughter a sweet little gift um, just for being adorable and sweet because she is the cutest. Um, it's kind of funny our neighborhood. There's a lot of girls in our neighborhood, um, so I get my little my girl fix. <laughs> From all the gals in the neighborhood. All right. So again, this is that mermaid. Look at how cute that is. So she's really detailed. I'm gonna just warn you guys. She's really detailed. She's got a lot of different pieces. So you've got her hair, her body. She's got her little bikini top, um, the bubbles. Then the always be a mermaid, and then of course her uh, her tail. So she's got a lot of parts. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. This is, again, brand new, just got it. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do kind of that same technique that I did that I chop pretty things, where I'm gonna do like the top of it, I'm gonna lift it up and do the bottom. Because if I try to do this and all the colors I want to do this in, if I try to do this, hey Arlene, hope you're feeling better. If I try to do this all at one time with all the different colors, my paste is most definitely going to stick in that silk screen and when I go to pull it up it's going to stick to the silk screen and not stick to my chalkboard. So I'm going to do this in, in parts. I'm going to start from the top and kind of go down. I'm going to peel up as I move so you guys will get to see how I do that. So I'm going to fuzz this really well because it's brand new and remember our transfers are um, self-adhesive and they're made to be used over and over and over again which means they are very, very sticky when you first get them. And you want to pick up a little fuzz. Sorry, I'm making the computer shake. You want to pick up a little bit of fuzz. I'm actually going to do that on my jeans because that tea towel kind of lost all of its fuzz. Um, 
So you pick up fuzz because you want to create a little bit of a barrier in between your transfer and your surface. Reason being, they're super sticky. If you go to try to pull it off when it's super sticky, you could stretch it. These are silk screens. They are fabric. If it stretches, that silk screen, so like all the parts that you can see through, so the non-blue stuff. If you stretch that part, it'll make it really wonky, and it won't give you those clean, crisp lines. So um, always be be... Uh, more cautious when you're using your transfers not to stretch them because you want a beautiful perfect project and if you want a beautiful perfect project um, it's hard to get if your transfer is stretched out so oh Arlene I'm so glad you love all your new colors and all your new transfers and you have a peony coming to you I've already ordered it I, I messed up my count and I feel so bad for doing that um, I placed a giant order the other day and um, when I was putting together all the different orders for all the different people, I realized I had shorted a couple of ladies a couple of pieces, and I feel badly that I did that. But you know what? Mistakes happen, <laughs> and, and you are all forgiving people, so I appreciate that. So right now, I'm just going to open up my pastes. I am going to um, just have these ready, have these stirred so that I can work quickly. This is brand new. You guys, that's the shimmer copper. I'm so excited. So excited to use this. This is the first shimmer paste I have ordered. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm already running out of space. And we've just begun. This is beautiful. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Can you see? Oh, so pretty. Okay, I have little stir sticks for each color. I'm using a different stir stick for each color because I do not want to mix my colors in their jars. It'll contaminate the entire jar. So you wanna make sure that you stir each jar individually with its own stir stick. Um, I have used wooden craft sticks. I have used plastic knives. I have used plastic forks. I have used pretty much just about anything. And these are my favorite stir sticks. Chalk Couture just came out with new stir sticks. I cannot wait to try them. They look just like these that I have, except they are teal. These are actually um, makeup stir sticks. They're clear, they're plastic. You can actually wash these um, or you can throw them away, whatever. Whatever you wanna do. Hey, Christy. So I'm just stirring up all of my pastes right now. And if you have any pastes that aren't stirring quite well, they seem a little dried out, you can absolutely add just a little drop of water and then keep adding more water as you need to get them to the right consistency. In fact, this one I'm gonna add just a tiny bit. I'm using bottled water because you do not want to use water from your tap um, because of minerals and sediment that gets in your tap water, especially if you live out in the country and you are on well water like us. Even though we have a fancy schmancy water softener now and a sediment filter and a UV light filter and oh my gosh, you guys, the amount of money we have on our water system in our basement is ridiculous. <laughs> but on the flip side, we don't have a water bill. Um, so, you know, you, I, you pay for it either way, whether you have a water bill or whether you have expensive systems down in your basement. So I'm using bottled water so I don't have minerals or sediment in my chalk paste from my water. Uh, let's stir, stir, stir. This is midnight blue. You guys, this is such a pretty blue. Here's the only thing with this blue. It does not show up really well on black. If you're looking for a blue that's gonna show up on a black chalkboard, um, Liberty is one of the new colors that has just come out. It is a dark blue. It is like a USA American blue. It's like perfect, like US flag blue. Um, that will show up great on a chalkboard. This blue, this dark midnight sky does not show up real great. Now, I'm mixing it when I do this project. I'll show you guys. It's going to be kind of mixed in with some other colors, so you are going to see it. Um, you're gonna just see the difference between the, the lighter, this, this teal and the midnight blue. But if I were using it just on a project, I would do, uh, it, and that was the only color I was using, I would use the 
Liberty rather than the Midnight Blue. Midnight Blue is really great on um, the Shot Control box frames or the palette boards, something that has a white background. Or if you were doing a reverse canvas, that would be so pretty. Same with this purple. This purple's gorgeous. Um, it shows up better if you lighten it up or if you're mixing it like with different colors. Uh, that purple is in this, like, um, yeah, you probably can't see it, it's too far away. But I did the purple, I did like a lighter purple and then I did the darker purple over the lighter purple to kind of give it a two-tone, two-dimensional look. It looks awesome, it looks great. Okay, let's start. I want to do, again, I'm going from top to bottom. So I'm gonna do, I wanna do her hair, the top of her body and a couple of these bubbles. That means I'm gonna use, for her hair, we're doing copper. I'm just trying to figure out which, which uh, squeegee to use with which color. For her body, I'm gonna do this dreamsicle color. Bubbles, I'm gonna do this light blue. We'll go with this one. Okay, so now I'm ready. I'm gonna start with the copper with her hair. And I hope you guys can see, normally I would do the little camera, the like two-way camera thing that I have. So you guys can see, but because this is a quick lunch in live, I didn't really have time to set that all up. It takes a few minutes to get that set up. I didn't have a whole lot of time. Ooh, yeah, you guys, these are like some really small. This is very detailed. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. She's very, very detailed. So what I'm noticing, this is the first time I've used a shimmer paste. It does have a bit of a different consistency than the regular paste. It's also a different price point. I'm gonna warn you guys, it is $5 more expensive for these shimmer pastes. They are $17.99 versus $12.99. So, um, but you can feel it. It almost feels like it has like real copper in it or something. Um, okay. So I think I've gotten her hair. I'm trying not to get her body. Okay, so there's that. I've got a little bit on my fingers that I'm gonna to try to get off. Now her body, I'm gonna use this dreamsicle. And I'm being really careful around, in fact, I'm gonna go over here and do her hand first. I'm gonna be really careful when I get up close to that copper because I don't wanna mix the copper in with the dreamsicle because I'm still dipping into my jar. And what I don't want to do is get some of that copper on my squeegee and then dip it back into my jar um, because then I'm going to contaminate. Okay, so I'm just putting a bunch on there. I'm just kind of globbing it on there. And then we're going to squeegee it. Oh, I'm trying to be so careful, you guys. She is so detailed. This is amazing. Okay. She is, she's a beauty, let me tell you. Sorry, I'm not looking up for comments right now. I'm very concentrated on trying to get this, this mermaid colored in here. Okay, there we go. And then let's do a couple of these little bubbles. Okay. Now I'm gonna lift just this part up, just like the top part, and I haven't done her bikini top. I'm gonna to go back in and do her bikini in just a sec. Okay, I'm gonna lay her back down, but now I've kind of broken that seal so that the chalk paste is now going to stick to my board and it's not going to stick to the silk screen. Um, so again, if I were to do all of this and all these different colors, um, Hey, Nicole, Lindsay, happy birthday. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad you're watching. Happy birthday, girl. I hope it's fabulous today. Fabulous. Um, bikini top, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like some kind of different colors here. Let's do this. I'm running out of small squeegees. And let me get a little bit of purple on the other side of this. You guys, the snow is like falling off my roof and every time it falls, it makes me jump. Okay, there's her bikini top. We'll see how that comes out. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this up again so that her bikini top doesn't stick, okay? 
Now I can lay this right back down. Woo. Okay. Always be a mermaid. I don't know what color I want to do that in. Um, let's see. Maybe the copper. Let's go with the copper. Okay. Oh, you guys, this copper is awesome. I'm digging it. Okay, the squeegee's too small. I need something bigger. Oh, much better. So different squeegees for different projects. Chalk Couture makes um, a handful of different size squeegees. And they're all great for different projects. Those little ones are perfect for getting little details in. I just love them. And now um, they've come out with these mini ones that are perfect. I'm gonna just scrape that right back in that jar. And we're gonna pull this up again. Okay, just broke the seal on that so that it doesn't stick to the silk screen. And I'm gonna lay her little tail back down and make sure that all the blue part, which is the adhesive part, that blue part is stuck. So I hope you guys can see okay. I'm sorry I don't have the, the dual camera thing going. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna make sure that that's down okay. Perfect. Okay, so for this um, tail, I wanted to do a few different colors. I'm actually gonna pull my little stir sticks back out because I'm gonna reuse these. That was for that blue. Oh, I just got a little water on our tail there. This is the teal. Oops. And I'm making sure that I don't have other colors on here because I'm sticking it right into the jar. And then here's the purple. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try this. Now, someone said this is like the same thing as a hot mess canvas. I don't know if you guys have seen that, where you take like all different colors, you put it on a canvas, you put vinyl over the top, you paint it white, and then when you remove the vinyl, everything that the vinyl was covering is that like multicolor, okay? So this is kind of that same concept. Hold on, I'm scrolling down to read comments real quick. Whew, okay. This is that same concept, except I'm going to use different colors and I'm going to like basically swirl it all around. Okay, so let's check. Let's see how this works. We're just going to see how it works. And I'm doing our full tail. I thought I might do this like the fin on the bottom a different color, but I just got that wet accidentally. I dripped some water in there. So let me try to dry that off real quick. Okay, I think that's good. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take three different colors. I'm going to do this teal color. This is the couture teal. I'm going to do purple. Okay, and then I'm going to do that midnight blue. And again, I wouldn't do the midnight blue by itself, but I think mixed in with other colors, it'll look good. Let's hope, right? Let's hope. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'm taking my squeegee and I'm just being like messy and swirling. Okay. So we're swirling, we're being messy. It's all different colors. We're squeegeeing off excess. I am not putting the squeegee back into any container because that's three different colors in. It's going in my water. Let's really quickly pull out the squeegee that is now covered in teal. Get these little bubbles down here. And that I can squeegee off and put right back in there because that is one color. And then I'm gonna pull from the side because I think that would be best. Let's pull from this side up. Wowzers, that looks amazing. Okay, and then last I'm gonna do this tail. Let's go with copper for her little tail so it matches her, matches her hair. Tail, fin, what is this technically called? Uh, I feel like mermaids weren't very popular when I was a kid. 
I mean, The Little Mermaid came out, I think I was in like middle school when The Little Mermaid came out. But mermaids weren't like a big thing. It was like My Little Pony or something. Okay, here we go. Let's see how she looks. Okay, I must say I'm not crazy about her body color. I would not use that color again on her body. But I love the way her tail came out and her hair. Her hair looks amazing. Yeah, her body color, I'm not crazy about that dreamsicle. What do you think, guys? Look at that tail. Isn't that amazing? Don't look at her body because it's kind of a funky orange color. But <laughs> look at that tail. Awesome, right? So what do you think? I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know. Leave me a comment. I think she looks pretty cool. So that's the mermaid. That's the mermaid. There she is. Oh, I'm glad you guys like it. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Um, so I like doing that that technique where you just kind of dot the different colors with like your stir sticks and then do that with your squeegee. And it gives a real like a multicolored look, but not like that gradient, not that ombre look where it goes from like dark to light or light to dark. It's it's all swirled in there. So I love the way that turned out. And man, that copper is gorgeous. That shimmer copper paste is stunning. You guys, I can't wait to use that on like everything. You're going to get tired of seeing all my stuff because it's all going to have the shimmer copper. <laughs> I'm going to use it on everything. So, um, Okay, that was it. That was our quick little lunch and live, 20 minutes. Easy peasy. Oh, Arlene, I'm glad you like it. Oh, Nicole, you think the body looks great, thanks. <laughs> um, this would be really pretty actually on a reverse canvas um, or just any kind of lighter background, I think. Um, I, I, I don't know how I would do her body differently. Like, I don't know what color I would use, um, but I, I that dreamsicle just, she looks a little, pasty for a mermaid. You think she'd be kind of tan. Um, maybe I just need to choose a different paste color or maybe I do copper and do like her hair red and do her body in the copper. Oh, see, I found another reason to use that shimmer copper again. <laughs> so you guys, um, thanks for joining me for lunch. I hope you guys had a, you know, fun time watching. Um, I think you can share this video from this page. Um, so if you want to share it, feel free to share it. I would love for you to share it. Um, happy birthday to Lindsay. And I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll talk to you guys soon.